Okay. Hello and welcome to our early years family presentation in relation to the Northwest Cork Children's Disability Network team and progressing disability services. I'm here with my colleague Mary Hughes, a social work team leader with the team, and my name is Maeve Howlett. I'm the Children's Disability Network Manager with the team. So today we're going to talk a little bit about progressing disability services and how the Northwest Cork Children's Disability Network team will support your child and family. So in the North Cork area, St Joseph's Foundation is the lead agency for two children's disability network teams. And the, this is the Northwest Cork team and the North East Cork team. But the team members working with the, these teams include um, clinicians from St Joseph's Foundation, Enable Ireland, the Cope Foundation, HSE and the Brothers of Charity Services. All of these agencies have come together under the Progressing Disability Services programme to form children's disability network teams. The North West Cork team, the team that your child and family are being supported by, is based in Market Square in Mallow, but also in St Joseph's Foundation in Charleville. So we're working in our interim accommodation at the moment, and long term we'll be based in the Blackwater building beside the Primary Healthcare Centre in Mallow. So what is Progressing Disability Services? This is a national programme to reorganise children's disability services across Ireland. It's changing the way children with complex needs receive um, services from ages from birth to 18. And the aim is to provide a clear pathway to services according to the child's needs. The vision for children and young adult services is that it will be family centred, um, that the family and the child are at the centre of the service. The aim is to provide a fair, equitable service, that it's needs led. The team that you are linked with is based on the home address. We aim to provide timely access and easy access to services, and we will be working in an interdisciplinary team model. So this map here just shows you where the reconfiguration um, process is or how it's working across the country. So the areas in green have already reconfigured, the areas in orange are partly reconfigured, and since the 19th of April um, in the Cork and Kerry area, we have just reconfigured. As I've mentioned, Children attend a children's disability network team based on their home address and the team that's supporting you is the Northwest Cork team and we cover the area um, highlighted in red here on the map, which is Charleville, Buttevant, Kenturk, Mallow, Mill Street, Newmarket and surrounding areas. The children's disability network team includes the parents, guardians and the family themselves administrative staff with the team, occupational therapists, physiotherapists, psychologists, speech and language therapists, social workers, clinical nurse specialist, early year specialist and family support workers. We work in a family centred practice model. And this has shown to have good outcomes for children and families. This means that we work in partnership with everyone involved with the child to achieve the best possible outcomes for the child and their family, and that we recognise that the um, family themselves know their child best. So we're working with children within their home environment, their school environment and their community environment, and that is believed to be the best way of working with children and families. So that the child is at the centre of the process, but they're supported by the community, their family, the health team, the therapy team and the, the school or preschool. So parents are partners in family centred practice because you know your child best and you're the most important member therefore of the team. Our focus is to build on and enhance the skills you use as a family, uh, as a family unit and, and look at, at the, the strengths of the family and the interests of the family to help um, the, your child's development. And the initial pathway is the beginning of your shared journey with us. 
at the moment, since we reconfigured and reorganized on the 19th of April, the teams have been reviewing the information that we receive for each child and family, looking at the needs and trying to prioritize the needs and planning for individual and group interventions. Also, the teams have started completing some individual assessments, some team assessments, and they've started some of the individual family service plan meetings, which we we'll talk about more as, as we proceed. So I'm just going to pass you over to Mary Hughes, who will discuss a little bit around the initial pathway. OK, okay. so the initial pathway includes this introductory session, which outlines the support available, the key contact. So you will be signed a key contact and this person is your single point of contact and you should have an email or phone contact for them. An initial assessment if required and an individual family service plan meeting and the individual for uh, the IFSP, which will be explained in more detail in the upcoming slides. So your key contact, your key contact is a single point of contact for the family. Your key contact will link with the appropriate team members to support the family. They will organize and invite you to the and the appropriate team members to the team assessment if needed and the IFSP. They will facilitate the IFSP process and provide you with the completed IF IFSP documentation. The key contact and relevant clinicians will read your child's information form and all relevant reports on file. They will observe your child if needed in an initial assessment. And following discussion about your child's strengths and needs, we will help you complete, complete your individual family service plan with specific goals and strategies for your child and family. So an individual family service plan is a written plan agreed by the child, their family and the team, documenting desired outcomes and the supports needed to achieve these goals. Initial strategies and interventions will be offered to you and your child to include universal, universal and targeted group interventions provided by team members. We wish to lay foundations for building good relationships with each child and family at the commencement with the CDNT. And we are always mindful of the work that happens when you are with your child at home. So here are an example of some sample goal areas. Self-care skills, which include washing, dressing, feeding, sleep, toileting, etc. Goals to support your family, which, which might include social engagement, family time and day trips, understanding of the diagnosis, helping at home and screen time. School-based skills, which could in include developing independence with taking off coat and hanging it up. Handwriting skills, enhancing concentration and attention. Community living, which could include safety awareness, increased physical activity and online safety and play skills, which is developing turn taking and sharing skills. The model of service within the CDNT is working in partnership with the family, providing you with appropriate, appropriate strategies, information and education to enable you to work on your goals. And now we are also using telehealth during the COVID-19 pandemic. The model of service can be broken down into three tiers, universal interventions, targeted interventions and direct intervention. So the first model or the first tier of the model universal interventions, examples of this are parent information and training sessions or groups such as parent plus programs and toileting workshops. Targeted interventions make up the second tier and examples of these could include PECS, which is the Picture Exchange Communication System, Love and Hannon Training, Sensory Workshops, School Readiness Programs, Feeding Groups and motor group, mo Growth Motor Groups, to name just a few. And then direct interventions with your child could include therapy supports such as speech and language therapy, occupational therapy, physiotherapy, psychology, your IFSP with assigned team members, consultations with preschool or school staff, equipment assessment or reviews, or access to orthotics, orthopaedics or paediatric clinics. Each pathway is unique to your family, as each family will identify their own specific goals. There are also auxiliary services available through, through St. Joseph's Foundation, such as equine therapy and hydrotherapy, 
and more information on these is available on St. Joseph's Foundation website. Here is a list of other resources and websites, uh, websites that you might find useful. And just to say, if you have any further queries, please contact myself, Maeve Howlett, at the email address below, mhowlett at stjosephsfoundation.ie. And I'd just like to thank you for listening and thank Mary for helping with presenting today.